In this video will be going through an example for bending. Uh, this question will hopefully assist in some of your exams uh, questions and uh, by running through the solution we hope to provide a good background on uh, calculations in particular. Now just remember that beyond calculations in the exam there's always going to be theory questions so it's always good to brush up on some of the theory questions particularly in bending, uh, so looking at variables such as um, alpha m, alpha s, and uh, flexural torsional buckling. Um, yeah, whenever you're unsure, you can always refer back to the uh, AS4100 yeah, as a starting guide. Okay, so more onto the question at hand. Uh, we have an 8 meter long beam. The beam is a grade 300 360 UB56.7 and uh, it is simply supported with four restraints acting at either end only. Now this beam is loaded by uh, a load F and this is applied in the mid span of the beam. Now with this setup we need to calculate the maximum value of F that is permitted uh, when considering bending stress design. Right. Okay, so now we're going to solve it. Um, one of the first steps to solving anything involving bending is firstly to find the variables we don't know. And this often involves finding our bending moment and of course our bending moment diagram. So we're going to start off by solving for some you know, reaction forces uh, so that we can find our bending moment. Um, okay, so the reaction forces for a simply supported beam with only one point force. It's pretty simple, especially if the point force is acting in mid-span. So you can quickly just through symmetry, you find that the reactions are half p. We can cut the beam at f to find our reaction. Um,